And welcome to Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Catfish. And I'm Radar. That is UV Candy Bar. It's 30% alcohol by volume. Theoretically, it's flavored like candy bars. Chocolate and caramel candy bars. What type of candy bar, you may ask? Apparently, it's chocolate and caramel. So, I, Milky I Way, I guess? <laughs> Milky Way? It says Snickers? It says chocolate and caramel. Snickers has nuts. So, say what now? Snickers has nuts. Oh, that, that's right, it does. Okay, so this is Milky Way flavored. It's like a Milky Way, maybe a tw kind of like Twix. Twix? No, Twix has got cookies in it. Yeah, but that's a lot, right? Are you feeling brave? Milky Way's uh, got, I'm, Milky Way's I'm got very food. brave, actually. Uh, okay, see, the reason I'm feeling brave is because that comes in a glass bottle. Glass fit or glass pints are not common. So uh, I'm thinking this is going to be slightly better than your average UV flavored vodka drink. Tell me about that smell. Um, Very sweet. I mean, it's that color. You smell the caramel right off the bat. This is the color that it is. It smells like that. It smells like caramel. It smells like this. It smells like coffee creamer. Like the, the flavored coffee creamer. Yeah, like caramel coffee creamer. Yeah, this smells like caramel coffee creamer. It's like you want an instant it's caramel macchiato. That's, that's Do we that's have nice. any coffee? Because I feel like that's what this was made for. Maybe. Let's give it a little. It smells pretty good. I'm not gonna it lie. I, I kind of like sweet. the way it smells. I'm gonna give it this. I'm gonna give this a taste real quick. That is super sweet. Oh, it's so sweet. Like, oh. I don't even know if I want to mix it with something else sweet. It tastes like candy bar coffee creamer. It does. It tastes exactly the way it, it is presented. <sighs> like if you're looking for mm. chocolate and caramel. Okay, okay. Um, tastes like a melted Werther's. It doesn't have a whole lot of alcohol bite. Mm -mm. But it does have a gigantic shitload of sweetness and 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 caramel flavor. Mm -hmm. Huge heaping spoonful. Huge. Huge <laughs> heaping spoonful of coffee creamer flavor. That's what this smells like. Mm -hmm. Or tastes like. Also smells like. Both of those things. The back of it. Ah. Says you should try it with half and half. What? That's some other shit you add to coffee. <laughs> and that sounds like a terrible idea. If I get half and half, that's not It bad. just says try UV candy bar as a shot or with half and half. Okay, so don't try it as a shot because so. you'll die of sugar overdose. Like you will, you will literally. I'm about to have a cardiac arrest right now. <laughs> You'll get to die. My eat. cardiac is about to br is about to woo br pull up on me and arrest me. Wilfred Brumley is about to walk in our door. <laughs> about to say you some diabetes products. About to tell me how to order my diabetes medi medications and have them delivered directly to my door. Like I'm, I'm scared to mix <sighs> this with ginger ale because it's just so. Sweet. <clears throat> All right, so here's the thing. Um, straight. How do you feel about this straight? Straight. Um, it is a. I feel like it is a novelty drink. Anything more than a single I shot. Like that. Anything yeah, more than a, a, Anything more than a single shot. I'm gonna start feeling sick to my stomach. Oh yeah, no. But not from the alcohol, just from the massive intake of sugar. From the amount of sweetness in this, it might. I might need to, to tone it back. Yeah. A lot. Like so straight. It tastes. Pretty good. Uh huh. But I don't think it's a sustainable. No, pretty good. no, no. It's like you take a shot, and you're like, oh, that was an interesting experience. One shot of this, but you're done. followed by an entire gallon of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. As as a single shot, it wouldn't be too bad. But but I don't. What do you rate it at? As um, as as a as a as straight fluid. <laughs> I mean, it's tough. I want to rate it as a six or a seven on flavor, but given the whole just it's not sustainable at all, then it makes me want to bring it down to a five. So I think I might just... I can see that. I might just stick with like a five and a half to six. Like, it tastes really good, but I couldn't drink it more than... You know, I can see that. It is super strong. It's I think, just, I think it's anything so past a single drink of this... It's going to ruin your palate. 
like for the rest of your life. Not even for the night or for like for like now. For the rest of your life, you're going to taste sweetness. Uh, I'll give it a I'll give it a five. But hey, cut it with some coffee. I mean, that if you added something really to well. it, I think it'd be much better. Uh, I'm not gonna add this Canada Dry to it though. That's a terrible idea. Yeah, that it's gonna Instead, be too much. Instead, how about we take this and we put it down here. <laughs> And we ask our lovely assistant, Special K, to bring us something different, something entirely different. You're holding something in your hand right now. Vodka, oh, that's vodka? Do you want to add more vodka? Uh, no, I do not. Mm. I thought that was a cold brew coffee. No. We're going to add this to it, actually, <laughs> instead. I don't think I have any. That is, that. why is that vodka brown? That's the sweet tea vodka. Um, okay, so we're going to add Canada Dry to it. I'm gonna regret this. I can... I'll have your EpiPen on standby. I feel like if we were gonna add this to something out of our refrigerator, maybe a really, really coffee-y stout would be the best club choice. Soda. Club soda would also work because club soda would take all the sweetness out of it. It oh. still smells exactly like... It just smells exactly like caramel. We're gonna add quite a bit of this Canada Dry. Uh, okay, so so chocolate and caramel and ginger. You know what? Ginger is good with uh, with caramel. Mm. It still smells exactly the same. You can't tell that there's any ginger in this. It it tastes. The sweetness has dumbed down a little bit, but I can't taste the ginger ale. If anything, I think I taste more vodka now than I did before. Somehow, I can't explain why. I think it's because it took but, it took some of the sweetness away. But like, away. it somehow has neutralized. <laughs> or there's so much sweet that I just no longer my brain can no longer <laughs> can no can't longer comprehend all the sugar, and it's just like vodka. <laughs> this is this is close. This is very close to being a consumable product. It's close. It's so close. If it was more of a savory drink that we mixed it with, yeah, club soda, coffee. I do think it's a better mixer than it is straight. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot better. I'll give it a six as a mixer. Um, I'm still not. I'm thinking I'm not going to buy any more of that though. Yeah, I'm going to keep. My, I'm going to keep it as a six for a mixer, with the potential to grow with a better mixer. But I don't. But even with a better mixer, I don't see it being. Significantly just better. fantastic, but you know, what was this two dollars? That was $2 .99 for, $2 .99 a, for a, for a pint. pint. I don't think I could get through and a, a whole fancy pint. old glass bottle. I don't think I could get through a whole pint, honestly. I think it would be too sweet. Oh man, just, if you tried to drink half of a down. pint of that by yourself, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Your cardiac would arrest you, <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Uh, anyways. If you would like to see something else, please leave a comment down below. Uh, in the meantime, I am Radar. And I'm Catfish. Thanks for watching.